In this video, you will get to know in detail about goods receipt purchase order in SAP Business One. In SAP Business One, you create a goods receipt purchase order when you receive goods from a vendor. In most companies, the person in the warehouse or the office responsible for taking delivery of shipments executes the goods receipt PO. If a goods receipt PO is used when purchasing services, the person for whom the services are rendered usually issues the document. A goods receipt PO can be created directly by selecting the document name in the module menu or it can be built from an existing PO. If you are basing your goods receipt PO on an existing PO, you may copy all the data contained in the PO or use the draw document wizard to select the data to copy from one or more existing POs. Even if you copy all data from an existing PO, you can still adjust quantities and prices as well as dates, vendor, and item information before you post the document. Regardless of how you create your goods receipt PO, there should be no differences between the data in the goods receipt PO and the vendor's shipping document sent with the items because the details in the vendor's document are legally binding. If there are any discrepancies between the base PO data and the vendor's shipping document, you should resolve them with the vendor before you post your goods receipt PO. It is essential that the quantities and prices in your goods receipt PO match the vendor's shipping document. Unlike a PO, a goods receipt PO cannot be amended after it has been added to SAP Business One because it triggers both inventory and accounting transactions. Your only option for fixing an incorrect goods receipt PO is to cancel the document and create a new goods receipt PO. Thanks for watching this video. Do write us for any queries.